Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly, and today in this video, I'm going to show how to install macOS Tahoe on an external drive. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, and now let's begin. To install macOS Tahoe on an external drive, you'll need a Mac that officially supports macOS Tahoe, macOS Tahoe Installer, which you can get from Apple's developer account, and later from the App Store. An external drive, preferably SSD. Now, after getting everything ready, plug the external drive and erase it with the following parameters. Now, on an Intel-powered Mac, you can plug your storage device into any compatible port. If you're using an Apple Silicon-powered Mac, your Mac has one or more USB or Thunderbolt ports that have a type USB-C connector. While you're installing macOS on your storage device, it matters which of these ports you use for installation. After installation is complete, you can connect your storage device to any of them. For Mac laptop computer, use any USB-C port except the leftmost USB-C port when facing the ports on the left side of the Mac. For iMac, use any USB-C port except the rightmost USB-C port when facing the back of the Mac. For Mac mini, use any USB-C port except the leftmost USB-C port when facing the back of the Mac. For Mac Studio, use any USB-C port except the rightmost USB-C port when facing the back of the Mac. For Mac Pro with desktop enclosure, use any USB-C port except the one on the top of the Mac that is furthest from the power button. For Mac Pro with rack enclosure, use any USB-C port except the one on the front of the Mac that's closest to the power button. Also, if you're using an Intel-based Mac, ensure you've selected No Security under the Secure Boot options and also allowed booting from external or removable media. If you can't boot via USB or any external media on Intel-powered Mac, make sure to check out the fix from iButton. Now plug in your external storage device into the appropriate port of your Mac, depending on your Mac model. It's recommended to use a device with good read and write speed, for example, any portable SSD or any enclosure with NVMe. And here you can see the drive appeared. Now, erase the drive with the following parameters. You can also use Disk Utility to erase the USB. After the drive is erased, open the macOS Tahoe installer. After the installer opens, click on Continue, then agree to the license agreement. Here, click on Show All Disks and select the external storage device you erased, and then click on Continue. And now, select a user to set as an owner of the new volume. If you want to copy account settings from the user, let the box be checked, otherwise uncheck it, and then click on Install, and then enter password. And now macOS Tahoe will be installed on your selected external drive in a while. Keep in mind that during the installation process, you Mac may restart several times, so don't worry about that.
And as you can see, the Mac OS Tahoe setup screen is here. Set up your OS according to your preference. During the Create a Mac Account window, you can either choose to create a new account or continue with creating a local administrator account for the new installation, same as the previous user. And now everything is done. And now let me show you the startup disk. Here you can see the startup disk is external, which is the external storage device. Also, if you want to switch between your startup disk, just open settings, then go to the general section and open startup disk options. From here, select the startup disk from which you want to boot, then unlock the system settings and click on restart. And you can boot to your previous or the other drive. So, that was it. macOS Tahoe is running successfully from the external drive. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any question, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.